What is the Bible? What is it for? Matthew shows us it is a treasure waiting to be explored. For in Matthew's own work, we hear Jesus teach this lesson, that a scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven brings out from the chest of the Old Testament treasures, both old and new. And that is who Matthew is. That is what he set out to do, to be the scribe Jesus described, who opens Israel's Bible and shows the treasure hidden inside. So throughout his account, Matthew pulls many old items out of scripture's treasure to show how Jesus is their fulfillment. The most common of which are three people who represent three covenants, which cover nearly every one of the Bible's pages. And these three people are Abraham, Moses, and David. To understand who Jesus is the way Matthew portrays him, we must understand these three men and the covenants God made them. The covenant made to Abraham stated that his children would bless all nations. The covenant made to Moses noted that if Israel kept the law, they would live with God as they hold them. The covenant made to David named him as the one whose son would sit on an eternal throne forever coronated. But by the end of the Old Testament, the promises made to Abraham, Moses, and David still awaited fulfillment. Abraham's seed had not spread a blessing but a curse. Moses' law had been broken at every verse. David's throne was vacant and his people had been dispersed. What is the Bible? What is it for? Well, Matthew shows us it is still a treasure and it's waiting to be explored. For there was another artifact in the scripture's hoard, another promise the Bible had stored, and it was for an anointed servant, a Messiah from the Lord, a new Abraham, a new Moses, a new David, who would fulfill everything God spoke in his word. And that is who Matthew claims Jesus is, the recipient of everything the scriptures present. And so, all throughout Matthew's account, by the way his report is told and organized, he takes the old treasures of scripture and holds them up under new light. From Jesus' genealogy to the Great Commission, from building the new family of the church to his 12 disciple selection, Matthew shows us that Jesus is the new Abraham who will bless every nation. From Jesus' birth and flight to Egypt, to his 40 days in the wilderness, from his teaching on the mountainside, to his walking on the water's surface, Matthew shows us that Jesus is the new Moses, who will bring a new and better exodus. From Jesus being named as David's son, to his birth in Bethlehem as it was fated, from his cross-shaped enthronement to his coming kingdom proclamation, Matthew shows us that Jesus is the new David, who will be the everlasting king of his everlasting nation. Matthew's gospel is an intentional explanation of how Jesus is the fulfillment of all the Bible's expectations. What is the Bible? What is it for? Well, Matthew shows us it is a treasure that points to Jesus, and it's waiting to be explored. But when many people saw Jesus, they did not connect him with the words of the Lord. Instead, they saw him as a challenge to their traditions, a threat they could not afford. They saw Jesus' ministry, but never truly perceived. They heard Jesus teach, but never truly believed. And most often in Matthew, these are the groups known as the scribes and Pharisees. Their hearts were calloused, their minds were clouded. So when they looked at the treasure of scripture, Jesus was shrouded. So instead of seeing how scripture pointed to him, they only saw how it justified them. They saw a blessing that came because they were Abraham's children. A salvation that came not through the law, but through their own traditions. They saw a king who would come like David and raise them to a higher position. When they looked at all of scripture's inscriptions, they could not see that Jesus was indeed the new treasure the Old Testament was all about. They thought they were teaching their scriptures correctly, but really, they were locked. So when Jesus stepped into their world, 
they didn't see that he completed every covenant and all the scriptures details. So instead of giving him the praise he deserved, they gave him a cross, a hammer, and nails. They thought they were fulfilling scripture by putting a blasphemer to death. And yet, ironically, when Jesus died by their hands, Jesus actually did fulfill all of it. For his crucifixion is the treasure hidden in the pages of scripture. His death and resurrection are what brought completion to the covenants God had made them. Jesus fulfilled the covenant he gave to Abraham by being the final seed who died in order to bring the blessing of life to all nations. Jesus fulfilled the covenant shown to Moses by dying under the curse of the law, even though we were the ones who broke it. Jesus fulfilled the covenant made with David by conquering the grave to bring us into the eternal kingdom we have all awaited. And it's not just these Jesus fulfilled. For every story, law, and promise written down for us in the scripture's collection was unlocked for us to see in Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. What is the Bible? What is it for? Well, Jesus shows us that he is the treasure and he's waiting to be explored. Thank you so much for watching our introduction to the book of Matthew. We are called Spoken Gospel. We're a nonprofit and we're making videos introducing every single book of the Bible. And we're doing that for a very specific reason. It's because we believe that Jesus and his gospel are in every single book of the Bible. The first five videos that we did were on the Torah, the first five books of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And we spent that time showing how Jesus and his gospel were in those books. And now we're entering into a series through the gospels and acts starting here with Matthew, which we're glad you watched. And we're really excited to now spend some time with Jesus in his earthly ministry and showing how his time on earth was good news and exploring what the gospel actually is. So if you like this video, you can actually support us uh, by heading over to SpokenGospel.com slash donate and joining our movement by becoming a monthly donor. And if you want to check out more of our free resources like podcasts, devotionals, and all our videos, you can get all of those for free over at SpokenGospel.com.